Welcome to a video from the digitalizer.com and we have another build of Windows 10 to look at. We're going to look at this mobile version. This is build 14295, a redstone build for Windows 10, which is now available for more devices than just the 950, which I'm looking at here. You can also get it on um, older Lumi devices that are capable of running Windows 10 mobile and I'll include the link that goes with this uh, on the digitalizer.com that has all the devices, but it does include the 1520, uh, 640 and some of the uh, not current ones but fairly recent devices as well. The one exception is the 635 which is coming soon. So this is a redstone build. There, uh, there isn't actually anything particularly new on this build. It's only a week since the last release which did include some new features so we're not going to see a lot on this. Um, but they have fixed an issue with um, build 14291 that when you restored a backup it didn't restore the application properly so when you went through the settings and, re and restored a backup so that's been fixed in here um, they've also fixed an issue where new languages and keyboards were not downloading um, but there is an issue where the uh, the download update doesn't come uh, uh, doesn't get notification to say there's new languages available you have to go through update and security and restart your phone and then it will uh, install it um, but yeah this is running that bill we can have a look at the bill numbers so here you can see we're running 10014295 which they say is a redstone bill so nothing really new to talk about in, in stuff for this there's a few known issues uh, Microsoft say that after updating to the most recent build from the, from the development branch, a system API failure may occur uh, occurs after the update, causing band one and band two to have sync issues. And uh, to get out of that, you've got to reset your phone, repair your band, and then the syncing work okay. I have found my uh, band has been syncing fine and hasn't got any issues with that, so I must uh, be uh, lucky on that one. I have still got the US English language installed, actually, so I might change that back to UK English and see if that uh, that fixes it. There's still an issue with the gadgets app not detecting the uh, the Microsoft Display Docs. Here's a continuum, um, but if you've got the latest firmware already, then it doesn't really matter about that. And also an issue with this is after upgrading from a previous build from the development branch, uh, you can no longer connect to a Miracast server. So there's no uh, Miracast device I should say. So Miracast is the screen sharing so that's where you can use this and get to a, a Miracast device. I use it occasionally and that's not currently working with this build and I guess they'll fix that in, in a future build. So like I said there's not a lot of changes with this There's nothing really for me to to show you on here but I do like documenting these and you can go right back to the early first builds for uh, of Windows 10 Mobile for the first devices that Microsoft uh, or the first builds that Microsoft released but this is a redstone build uh, watch out on our YouTube channel for more videos, especially when we get more features. Thanks for watching this one.